All right, in this video, I'm just going to run through the answers to exercise 13. Um, and so this is a fairly s straightforward logical analysis exercise, it, it's something that you could do in the beginning of a critical thinking course. Um, and it might be might throw you off a little bit the first few times you start doing this, but after a while, it should start to click pretty quickly. Um, so uh, the instructions actually were carried over from the uh, in-person version of this course, and there, so it's got a couple um, things that are outdated in it, like it mentions class 13, which no longer happened, um, and uh, it says seven statistical statements, but we're just doing three. In any case, though, um, the instructions are pretty straightforward. Um, so the main thing I want you to do here is determine the difference between a distribution and a correlation. And again, a distribution just says um, how much a single property is present in a single population, right? Whereas a correlation is making a comparison between two distributions. So for a correlation, basically you've got, you're going to have two quantified categorical statements. And for a distribution, you only have one. Although sometimes, um, and we'll talk about this in a second for, for some of these, uh, a distribution might imply, uh, the, the, the speaker might be hinting that there's actually a correlation there, but they haven't spelled it out, so we're not going to either. So um, let's look at the first one. Today in Milwaukee, one or two, Af one in two African American men don't have a job. So um, first thing to note is that this statement on its own is just a distribution. It is about uh, you have a population which is African American men, and then a a, a property being unemployed which is distributed to half of that population. Now, you might actually say that uh, Desmond here is implying a correlation because one and two uh, is a lot. Um, so you want to know, but to, to know whether there's a correlation between <clears throat> being black and being unemployed, you would need to actually have the other quantified categorical statement, that is, the unemployment rate among white people. I mean, we could look that up, but that's not present in this um, uh, statement, so we're just going to treat it as a straight distribution statement. So when we break it into parts, what we see is that there's a quantifier, one and two, 50%. Um, and then there are two properties. There's the property that defines our general population. I can't decide where I want to put the um, thing. So uh, your property F is um, being an African-American male. And then G, you know, it's not like that. G is being unemployed, or you can think of these as categories, the class of African-American males in Milwaukee um, and the class of unemployed people. Where's that in Milwaukee up here? Right? So, um, you've got one category defined by the property F being an African-American male and one category uh, G, um, which is distributed among the first, uh, half the first category. So then we just want to do a distribution diagram. Um, and I'm just going to copy and paste this from over here. And we don't actually have to do this precisely. I just want to get you used to the idea of relate ha having in your mind a visual that relates um, either two 
boxes or four boxes, depending upon whether you're dealing with a, a distribution or a correlation. So um, here, this is just going to be African American men in Milwaukee. Let me make this red. Um, and this is unemployed, people who are unemployed. Let's look at my boxes so I can see what I'm doing here. People who are unemployed. And then we'll make it look like it's roughly 50-50. like that, right? So that's, that's all you need to do there. Um, and like I said, you're just analyzing the parts of a statement. It's, it's a grammatical, critical thinking, logical type exercise. And so it's not um, that, uh, it, it should come pretty easily after a while. Now look at this one here. Women from black neighborhoods make up 9.5% of Milwaukee's population and 30% of its evicted tenants. Now we've got two quantified statements uh, that, that are both explicitly in the statistical statement that we're looking at, and we're drawing explicitly a comparison between them. So now um, we are definitely dealing with a correlation right, the correlation between two properties. Okay. Um, so now we're going to have two things up here. The first quantifier is going to, for the first statement, it's 9.5%. Okay. Um, and now our F is going to be, um, oh, let, let me, now that we've got two of these, we want to be sure that we're doing it right. Um, so there's going to be a correlation between being uh, a woman from a black neighborhood and being an evicted tenant. Those are the two relevant properties. So um, then what we, what we need to do is have a, uh, uh, so women in Milwaukee and then women from uh, black neighborhoods. So um, let's say that our F is um, women. I'm, I'm switching over to be, doing this in noun phrases in Milwaukee. Uh, okay, black women, actually, women from black neighborhoods. And actually, I should mention that this line that he, the, the, the language here is precise, women from black neighborhoods. If you look at the way he gathered, uh, Desmond gathers his data, he often doesn't have ethnicity data for individuals. He just has um, uh, what neighborhood they're from uh, based on census track and then a, a percentage of people in that neighborhood who are black. So he can identify them definitely as being women from predominantly black neighborhoods. And because Milwaukee is so segregated, um, you know, he's going to be, uh, he, they probably will actually be black like 90% of the time, but he can't actually just say black women because that's not what he has actually measured. Okay, um, so let's see here. Let's make this um, people uh, actually let's make our G women from black neighborhoods and F be people in Milwaukee. Right? Um, so 9.5% of people in Milwaukee are women in black from black neighborhoods. That's the way I want to say that. And then <clears throat> next up we can say um, 30% of people in Milwaukee are, um, I'm sorry, 
30% of people in Milwaukee eviction court. All right. So that's how we put that at. So yeah, 30% of people in Milwaukee eviction court are women from black neighborhoods. So that's how we put that in, in, the, in this standard form for quantified categorical statements. Um, and now we need to do a correlation diagram. And when we do it like this, we want it to be two variables with two properties each, right? So um, it's going to be women from black neighborhoods, yes, no, uh, and then women uh, in eviction court, um, right? So I'm just going to cut and paste my um, correlation diagram here. And there. So, women from black neighborhoods. Um, and then women in Milwaukee, uh, women in Milwaukee eviction court and women in Milwaukee in general. Um, actually, people. I want people here. And make this red. This looks right. We don't want a line there. Get rid of the interior line. I'm, at this point, I'm just being fussy. Okay. No border, and then uh, outside borders. Oh, and no border. Let's see how that looks. We take away. Oh, I see. All of the grid lines copied over. That's why it looks like that. Um, no borders. Actually, that, that alone probably looks all right. Let's take away the. Um, yeah, that's roughly what I want. Um, so, in any case, there's a correlation between being a person in eviction court and being um, a, a, a woman from a black neighborhood, right? Okay, so our last statement, in a typical month, one in three and four people in Milwaukee eviction court were, were black. So now we're back to a, a straightforward distribution. Um, we don't have, although it, implicitly, you might be thinking this is meant to contrast with white people, but um, we don't need, that's not spelled out, so we can just do it like this. Um, three and four. Um, three and four, people in Milwaukee, eviction court, and black people. Um, and so there you go. Let's move this over here. We're done. So that's all you needed to do for that sort of thing. And there will be questions on the test like this as well. Um, you just need to be able to identify uh, the mechanics of uh, these kinds of statements, distributions and correlations.